Schwinn. Schwinn 190 Bike Support. In this video, we will show you how to replace the data cable in the console mast. Before you begin, please make sure you read the assembly manual thoroughly as it contains important safety warnings and service tips. The following tools are recommended for this procedure. To reduce the risk of electrical shock or unsupervised usage of the equipment, always unplug the power cord from the wall outlet and wait 5 minutes before cleaning, maintaining, or repairing this machine. Unplug the AC adapter from the wall outlet and machine. Next, remove the pivot cover from the back of the console. Remove the four screws that attach the console to the mast and set the part safely aside for reassembly. Remove the screws using a Phillips screwdriver. Do not cut or pinch the cables. Disconnect the data cable from the back of the console. After disconnecting the cables, carefully lift the console off the mast and set it safely aside for reassembly. Do not let the cable fall down inside the mast. This step may require two people. Next, remove the indicated hardware from the console mast using a 6mm hex wrench. Set the hardware safely aside for reassembly. Slightly pull the console mast, handlebar assembly, upward and disconnect the cables. Please note, this step may require two people. Do not cut or pinch the cables. The frame cable connector is attached to the plastic insert in the mast mount. Leave the plastic insert and frame cable connector in place. Next, remove the rubber plug from the access opening at the mast junction. Using a string or a zip tie, fasten the end of the old data cable at the base of the mast to one end of the new data cable. Hold the other end of the old cable and carefully pull it out of the mast in order to route the new data cable through the mast. Do not cut or pinch the cable. Use the access opening at the mast junction to assist in smoothly routing the cable. Reinstall the rubber plug in the access opening in the mast. Detach the old data cable and discard. Next, connect the new mast data cable to the data cable from the mainframe. Please note, do not cut or pinch the cables. This step may require two people. The frame cable connector is attached to the plastic insert in the mast mount. Leave the plastic insert and frame cable connector in place and carefully connect the console mast cable. Align the clips on the cable connectors and make sure the connectors lock. Make sure the console cable does not fall into the console mast. Using the previously removed hardware, install the console mast to the main assembly. Align the curved washers so the surface is flush with the console mast tube. Fully tighten the hardware using a 6mm hex wrench. Continue reinstalling all previously removed parts. Tilt the console to install the wide tab at the top of the console mount bracket. Route the console cable through the bracket. Attach the console to the console mount bracket before connecting the cables. Secure the console mount using the previously removed hardware. Start with the lower screws first, then tighten all screws. Connect the console cable to the console mast cable. Align the clips on the cable connectors and make sure the connectors lock. Push the extra wire down into the console mast. Do not cut or pinch the cables. After securing the console mast, reinstall the pivot cover. Congratulations! Replacing the data cable is now complete. Inspect your machine to ensure that all hardware is tight and components are properly assembled. Do not use until the machine has been fully assembled and inspected for correct performance in accordance with the owner's manual. Brought to you by Schwinn.